the next topic is earthquakes earthquake is shaking or trembling of the earth's crust due to the relieving of excess amount of stress or pressure within the earth's crustal plates and they are so sudden that they cause huge amount of destruction there are mainly three waves associated with earth uh, after uh, that are produced after earthquake has taken place they are namely primary secondary and surface waves surface waves are the most destructive of all they are the most destructive whereas primary waves arrive first they arrive first that is before all the three waves and the secondary waves which are transverse in nature they are the slowest waves secondary waves are the slowest ones and the primary waves are the fastest ones they are the first to arrive the secondary waves arrive next and the surface waves are the last uh, arriving waves we have discussed about all these waves uh, while dealing with earth's interior let's see certain terms associated with earthquakes focus focus is the region where the earthquake has occurred that is the region with high amount of uh, tremors or uh, release in stress that is where the earthquake is uh, centered at and then epicenter the shortest distance between uh, the focus and the region on the earth's surface is called epicenter this is the shortest distance and the point just above the uh, focus is called epicenter and the intensity of earthquake is maximum at the epicenter as this is the closest point from the focus and the loss of energy at this point that is at the epicenter would be minimum and coming to velocity of earthquake waves they would tra travel at a speed of 5 to 8 km per second in the earth's crust that is in the upper part of the earth, earth whereas they would travel much faster with depth as density increases the next one is isosesmic line it is the line where uh, the, uh, the line joining all points where the earthquake the intensity of earthquake is similar so what are the causes of earthquakes earthquakes are caused mainly due to compressional or tensile stresses associated with the uh, crustal plates when these compressional and tensile stresses acts on the crustal plates there is huge movement in the blocks of earth's crust which uh, uh, which causes earthquakes and there is constant change in volume and density of rocks below the earth's crust due to varying temperatures as a result there would be change in density below the crustal plates which would also result in subduction of regions in the earth's crust which would also lead to earthquakes so based on different uh, causes earthquakes uh, can happen due to plate tectonics or sliding of land along the fault line or it can be a human induced earthquake plate tectonics we have seen that there are mainly three kinds of edges mainly the constructive edge or the divergent edge the destructive edge or the convergent edge or the transform edge at the place of uh, divergent edge or constructive edge there are volcanic activities which give rise to mid oceanic ridges and there as a result there 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 will always be earthquakes with shallow focus and in the destructive edge there is interaction between the denser oceanic plate uh, which subsides below a lighter continental plate giving rise to the upthrust of the upthrusting of the lighter a lighter plate and a resultant earthquakes sometimes the subducting plate can also be continental plates like the indian plate for example indian plate up, uh, is sliding below the eurasian plate giving rise to great amount of earthquakes uh, in the himalayan belt that is nepal bhutan and various in the indian uh, states this is mainly due to convergent or destruct uh, destructive boundary in the transform edge for example san andreas fault which is a part of western usa we see that a small part of this mass is moving upwards whereas the mainland uh, american plate is moving downwards giving rise to a fault line and earthquakes are frequent along this fault line and slipping of land along the fault line is also a major reason behind the formation of earthquakes this kind of faulting happens mainly during the formation of block mountains or when the mass below the region of the earth's crust is metamorphosized due to a uh, high amount of heat and there is change in densities then a block can slide towards the earth uh, towards the earth center which might result in uh, the creation of earthquakes and the earthquakes along these fault lines are linear that is they occur along the fault line sometimes they can be of very high intensity 
causing huge amount of destruction. And human induced earthquakes are mainly due to deep mining, underground nuclear tests and reservoir induced earthquakes and due to extraction of fossil fuels and uh, the related voidness caused in the earth's crust and the groundwater ext extraction when there is extensive extraction of groundwater and the reservoir induced seismicity is associated with the building of reservoirs by humans as there is change in isostatic equilibrium that is uh, change in the de equilibrium of densities of the earth's crust they can be small tremors which might cause earthquakes but there are these most of these earthquakes are less significant as they don't cause much of destruction compared to the other kinds of earthquakes which are found mainly due to natural effects and based on the position of the focus below the earth's crust the earthquakes can be divided into shallow focus earthquakes intermediate focus earthquakes and deep focus earthquakes and these can be best example uh, best explained using uh, the, uh, using the subduction process of a denser plate we can see that during ocean ocean collision we, there is subduction of the denser plate which might lead to a uh, shallow focus which is which occurs at the point of convergence and um, intermediate focus which occurs mainly at the point where the rocks are metamorphosized and the deep focus almost where the plate is totally subducting and there is huge amount of pressure involved in this process in the shallow focus though the intensity of shallow focus earthquakes are very high as some most of these happen uh, below the oceanic floor the destruction caused is uh, very little but with a significant uh, kind of amount of earthquake might uh, give rise to tsunamis which might ca cause huge amount of destruction but the earthquakes associated doesn't cause any huge amount of destruction as most of the shocks are absorbed by water and at this zone where there is metamorphosis of rocks here there is huge amount of stress relieved due to up upwelling of this ma rocks in the form of magma and there are associated earthquakes which are called as intermediate focus earthquakes and in greater depths due to change in pressures due to the subducting plates there might be small amount of earthquake observed as this is called as deep focus earthquakes though earthquake can be severe at this point at the deep focus but most of the shock waves die uh, by reaching the surface of the earth and they don't cause much amount of destruction and all this region where the earthquake region associated with this kind of subduction zone is called as Benioff zone and coming to distribution of earthquakes most of the earthquakes happen uh, along the Pacific Rim of Fire and the Mediterranean Sea and the Great African Rift Valley and also all along the Himalayan belt uh, that is Alpine mountain systems and if you see this map we see that most of the earthquake activity coincides with volcanic activity earthquakes are intense where there is significant interaction of plates continental crustal plates as a result this region which is always uh, full with interaction between different plates is a very high earthquake intensity area where earthquakes are seen frequently that is the Pacific Rim of Fire other important region being the Alpine mountain system which consists of Alps and the mountains in Iran Iraq etc and also most importantly the Himalayan mountains for example the earthquake that took place in Nepal this year is one example of this kind of earthquakes that is earthquakes formed in the alpine system of mountain systems and earthquakes are also observed at the mid oceanic ridges where there is con constant outflow of uh, volcanic uh, magma and the tonga belt which is a direct result of interaction between indo australian and pacific plate is also hotbed of earthquakes and the parts of indonesia which where there is collision between Indian plate and the Burma plate which is a minor plate uh, part of Eurasian plate even in this spot there is huge amount of earthquake activity though in Himalayan region volcanism is absent the earthquake are very intense so what are the effects of earthquakes earthquakes give rise to lakes due to depressions caused due to uh, the shift in huge volumes of earth crust and they can lead to damming of rivers for example in the runoff Kutch region 
in Gujarat, that is somewhere in Gujarat, we see this is runoff Kutch region. There are certain natural dams formed due to earthquakes where uh, the region slides below into the earth's uh, um, a bottom. As a result, a depression is created which gives rise to a massing of water carried by rivers, giving rise to a natural dam. And there are various landforms that could be the cut that could be resulted from an earthquake. And tsunamis are the most adverse effects of earthquakes. They can cause huge havoc on the coastline. And earthquakes can significantly change the surface drainage, where rivers can shift their courses considerably over a period of time. And along the free fissures and cracks uh, at the epicenter of the earthquake, we can see that they can be uh, some form of uh, volcanic activity as well as gases and various other uh, substances flowing from the earth's crust.